I'm Wayne Keeling, a weed scientist with Texas A&M AgLife Research located in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, today we've been talking a little bit about uh, weed resistance in cotton. Uh, the problem was really first identified on the plains in 2011 when some fields were identified that had been sprayed with Roundup repeatedly and the weeds continued to, uh, to grow normally. Uh, in this past year I think more and more fields have been identified uh, with resistant pigweed problems. Um, I think the important thing is for people to realize this is a serious problem and try to address it early on here and not uh, ignore it for a few more years and let it get worse. But there are some, some fairly straightforward uh, uh, ways to, to manage or delay resistance and that is getting back to using a better mix of residual herbicides, uh, both pre-plant incorporated, pre-emergence or post-emergence so with Roundup. And, coming up with a system that works for your farm uh, to utilize the other tools that are available. And even as if we move into problems with not being able to control all Palmer Amaranth with Roundup, I think Roundup still has a lot of value to cotton producers in our area. We have a lot of other weeds that aren't very easily controlled with residual herbicides that Roundup does a really good job on. So we may have to complement the Roundup with some things to help on resistant pig weeds, but we still got a lot of weeds that Roundup can do a really good job on. I think the main thing is to recognize that there is a problem brewing out there uh, and not just think that I can ride the Roundup only system for another year or two, but uh, try to get ahead of the game there, get back to using the proper mix of residuals uh, and try to avoid making the problem any worse than it already is.